Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Amy. I'm 21 years old. I'm an English teacher from Derby in the UK. I converted to Islam in February of this year. Alhamdulillah. It started a few years ago um, when I visited Egypt for the first time. I was engaged to a Muslim man and it was my first time in a Muslim country and I was very intrigued about Islam because I didn't know anything about it and I'm the kind of person I hate to be ignorant about anything so when I went home I decided to read about Islam not to convert just to know about it and I was so impressed by the rationality and the simplicity of it. I was never happy as a Christian. I never believed that Isa salam was my Lord. I always saw him as my prophet. And the fact that Islam says that you only worship your creator, it completely appealed to me. And when it says in the Quran to love and follow the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, I couldn't help but fall in love with his beautiful character. The fact that this was a man who stood for justice for all people, Arab and non-Arab, black, white, women, children. I couldn't help but just fall in love with Islam. And wallah, I was so close to converting, but various things happened in my life and um, I had to leave my fiance. So for about a year I went away from Islam, but I felt a calling to come back. The one particular night I had a dream where I was back in Egypt and I was just sitting in the mosque that I had visited and I was sitting making dua. I woke up from that dream and I said to myself, SubhanAllah, I need to pray Salah. I went and prayed to Raqqa. I said, oh Allah, you know, if you want me to be a Muslim, then please make it easy for me. And at this time, I was still Sunni. I'd been told by my Sunni friends, don't go near the Shias. The Shias, they worship Ali They do this, they do that. All this Wahhabi propaganda, which is completely false. So I never considered being Shia. But Alhamdulillah, this one day I watched a lecture on YouTube, um, a Shia lecture, and I was so close to turning it off because I thought this is wrong. I shouldn't be watching this. But out of sheer curiosity, I watched it and it completely changed me. The rationality of it, the simplicity of it and the intellect was just so admirable. You know, I couldn't help but just be enthralled by it. And I watched more of these lectures. I read more about Shia Islam and all my misconceptions just completely melted away. And learning about the Imams, alayhi salam, you know, learning about Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali, Ali alayhi salam, the fact that Allah prepared him from a young age to succeed the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, and learning about their lives and what the, what the caliphs did to be with Fatima sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, and what later they did to Imam Hussein alayhi salam at Qalbala, I said to myself, how can I be hypocritical and say I love Ahl al-Bayt alayhi salam and love their killers. I just couldn't do that. I said, no, I'm either with them or I'm with their enemies. And to me, it was simple. I was always going to be with the Ahl al-Bayt salam. So Alhamdulillah, you know, Allah, one of his names is the bestower of honors. On the day he chose me to be a Muslim, he said, it's not enough for Amy to be a Muslim. I want her to be a Shia of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. And when I think about it, it blows my mind of how blessed I am to have found this path. Alhamdulillah, shukran lillah. You know, alhamdulillah, you know, when I sit and think of the problems that I face, really they are not problems in comparison to what some reverts have faced. That my family, alhamdulillah, you know, they have always been open-minded. In fact, they have always defended Muslims. When there have been people around, us that have said Muslims are terrorists, they did 9-11, they did this. My parents have always said no, no, real Muslims aren't like that. So when I said to my mom and dad I want to be a Muslim, you know, they said just whatever makes you happy Amy, you know, we just want you to be safe, we want you to be happy. And don't get me wrong, there has been tensions between me and my parents as such, but I just 
I just pray to Allah to keep me patient. And Alhamdulillah, I feel like as the months go on, it's getting better and better. And my, with my friends, there were kind of two groups. I had the vast majority of my friends were absolutely brilliant, mashallah. Like, they don't treat me any differently now. They still love me for who I am. But then I had a lot of Christian friends that I made at university. And when they heard that I converted, it broke their hearts. And I actually had some of my friends come up to me in tears saying, how can you forsake Jesus? How can you do this? And it hurt me to see them like that. And even to this day, like, they try and persuade me to come back. And I, and I just say to them, like, if you knew what I, if you knew what I knew, if you, if you could feel what I feel like, <sighs> Honestly, you, you would hold on to it. Even if you were holding on to hot coal, you, you would still hold on to it. And if you knew, if you really knew Jesus the way I've learned about Jesus now, you would know that Jesus would follow Muhammad and Ali Muhammad and that he would never forsake them. And I just... Allah, Allah is the all-powerful. Sometimes we limit him and... Allah can do whatever he wants, you know, kun fear kun. I just pray that he will open their hearts because I feel sorry for anyone who doesn't have Ahl al-Bayt salam, who doesn't have Imam Hussein and Abu al-Fadl Abbas salam. When I think of the Amy before Islam, Amy was a very broken person. She had faced so many things. She had had so many people whom she had loved and yet they were cruel to her. Amy was, she was scared of the world. She was scared of failure. She had no self-esteem. And I look at myself now and I say, this Amy is brave because the Amy a few years ago, she never would have came to Iraq or any other like, foreign country by herself. Now I come here and I say, there is, there is nothing to fear. Like, I'm not afraid of any person. Even though Daesh are in this country and they want their blood on, my blood on their hands, I say, who cares? You're nothing special, Daesh. The only thing I fear is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The, the new Amy as well, she doesn't stand for injustice now. When someone tries to take my rights away from me now, I say no, no, I, I won't stand for that. Because Bibi Fatima, salam Allah alayha, she taught me to be brave. Bibi Zainab, salam Allah alayha, she taught me to be brave. If they could stand up in the courts of tyrants and stand for their rights, then why can't I do that? And another thing about the old Amy as well, like, my whole goal in life was just to survive, you know, just to get through the days. I didn't care about anybody else. I just cared about myself. Now, I'm so much more compassionate. I, you know, I'm so much more emotional. I, sometimes I sit and I watch the six o'clock news and I, I see everything that's happening in the world and it brings tears to my eyes because it's not just me anymore, it's, it's everybody. And I look at myself and my body and how I've used my body over the years just to please myself. And it's only recently that I've realized that my body is not my own. My body is for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and serving the Ahlul Bayt My body gets worth through singing their praises and cursing their killers. And Inshallah, you know, I just pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will continue to build me. You know, whatever blessings or hardships he gives me in my life, I just want him to build me so that I may serve my Imam, Imam Zaman. May Allah hasten his reappearance because the greatest blessing that I could have is having a Muslim family to give to Imam Zaman. And when I have given them, for me to give myself to the imam as well and even if it means shedding my own blood and I, and I say this before witnesses I don't say this so that people say oh mashallah what a wonderful Muslim no I don't care what people think about me 
I say this before witnesses, so that if I go back on my promise to Imam Zaman, then all of you can testify against me on the Day of Judgment that I let my Imam down. And that is the most important thing to me. I think to me, to come to Iraq and not to be afraid. We hear so many stories about Daesh and our enemies killing us left, right and centre. But I say to my brothers and sisters in faith to not be afraid because we are the Shia of Amir al muminin alayhi salam. We shouldn't be afraid of anyone. On the day of Saqifa, we had enemies and tyrants. All through history, we have had people who have hated us and tried to kill us. And yet we are more alive than ever. We should not be afraid of Daesh because they are not, they're nothing special. Nothing at all. They're just modern day Yazids, modern day Mu'awiyahs. Imam Hussein alayhi salam tells us that it is better to die on our feet than to live on our knees. Why should we be afraid of anyone?